All right, have you ever wondered if a potential lover is wasting your time? Don't look at me. Decades. <laughs> Mate, it's been decades. I pulled the back out thinking uh, about that. Well, it's David, they are. And we have the stats to prove it. Um, single women are losing four days a year and $3,000 to emotionally unavailable men. Uh, uh. <laughs> You're the only man here, so we're looking at you. <laughs> oh, God, I apologise again for the man. <laughs> and media personality, Abby Chapel is ready to expose them all in a new reality show. Abby joins us on the couch just to dirt about this new series. What is it called, Abby? F-Boy Island. <laughs> <laughs> the so joy so you take in saying that. It is the most ridiculous name and the most ridiculous show. Flirty Boys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> that's, what mom, that's what Mum says. So is this something... Because, you know, sometimes people feel like it's not cool to laugh at people in these experiences but mm. this looks like and from what you were telling us just before we go on there it's a lot of fun it's a lot of fun it's very it's a very self-aware reality show we're aware of the cliches we're doing the contestants are aware that we're making fun of them or making fun of me or never the girls actually the girls are always in control great but it's very self-aware the contestants really lean into it into mm -hmm. their kind of f-boy ways if they are an f-boy for boys yeah they're for, 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 boys. for boys and um yeah it's it's a brilliant silly show but it has really strong undercurrents of real love stories it's great so the girls have to figure out the women have to figure out who are the naughty men yeah and and who are the good ones? Both of us are just F-boy. <laughs> You're going, they're, they're naughty <laughs> men. Naughty men. So there are 24 men. Yep. Half of them are self-proclaimed F-boys. Half of them are self-proclaimed nice guys. We don't know who's who. The contestants, me, the Oh, audience. you don't know? No. So, well, what are the signs then? What, what do they look out for? Um, uh, lying, being too nice, being not nice. It could be anything, really, at this so stage. So could a nice guy become an F-boy as the series goes on? Or the, know, or the opposite. But an F-boy could become a yes. nice guy with my guidance, which they do get at ah. some point. Because you're like a, a fairy F-boy godmother. And I did know. you know who the naughty boys were or did you pick them out? No, I found out okay. as they get... How's your F-boy radar? I wish I could tell you I've dated and you would all understand that it's <laughs> awful. Uh... <laughs> I mean, I'm getting better. I had therapy yesterday. My therapist said, this is a positive change. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, I'm proud of you for not ruining this one. Well, I you've think. whipped these boys into shape, haven't mm. you? Um, in other news, your, your recent speaking tour called Trauma Dump. Um, you open up about trauma. <laughs> have all the best titles, it, it, Abby. Yeah. Why stop taking all the best titles? Trauma Dump. <laughs> so how has that been received? Opening up about your dating life. Oh, really well. I mean, it's three major stories. There's a few other stories as well from Bachelor Times and before, but people have really enjoyed laughing at my awful dating life, um, and that's what I'm here for, you know? At least I can make some money off of it. I think that's the great thing, <laughs> yes. why people love why you so much. I think why you're such a star is that you know how to laugh at yourself really, really well, but do you... Are you do you protect yourself as well? Because you're such a, you've gone, you've had such a huge riot skyrocket mm. to fame that I want to make sure that you're also protecting yourself and, and so does your therapist. Yeah, my therapist. Thank you so much, What's darling. The, the um, therapist, doctor? Did where... she call you before? <laughs> <laughs> this is a, I don't, this is a couch. I'm actually, so, I'm actually in the market. Yeah, so no, we're not actually recording here. <laughs> it's, just, it's just you guys helping me out. Um, no, yeah, I, I, I try to. It's been really hard, obviously, because... I've, I've had to kind of compartmentalise my life and decide what I do share and don't share. But mm. all these stories are from a five to ten years ago. Yeah. So I've kind of processed them properly before I've shared them. So that's, that's my all theory. All the NDAs are over now. And Absolutely. <laughs> and I've changed the names. And that's good enough. They can't sue me. Um, it's really fantastic. Who do we charge for this session? Um, just you? You're just me, guys. Don't <laughs> worry. Thanks so much. I think you should do... I think my, your next show should be yes, couple okay. therapies. Yes. I well, ruined, well, you... I ruined their lives. Exactly. I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> well, in the meantime, we have F-Boy Island. It premieres on Binge the 29th of May. Why would you miss it? So good. Thank you, Abby. Good to... Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my <laughs> Carl. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?